activate the bloody sonar, mate. Oh dear, this is going to be bad. I'm going to I'm going to be an icebreaker. Um, um, no, no, press the oh, crunch. Um, well, hello everybody, welcome to Crash with Ash. This time it's Submarine Edition of Crash with Ash. Um. Okay, right. Come up here. Let's go up to the surface here. Let's have a look at this thing properly. My goodness me. This is so cool though. Just look at that. Oh, don't, don't you dare hit an iceberg. This is like playing Titanic Simulator, but nuclear submarine style. And we have surfaced. Just look at that. I don't think I've ever seen so many submarines. Torpedo to starboard. Whoa! Is that a torpedo that just went flying by? Jesus Christ, it was too. Okay, so Friendly's just coming in here. Ah! Ah! No! Stop chewing at my, my conning tower. Go get your own conning tower to chew on. We've captured the airfield. It's not an airfield, mate. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Gotcha! Oh. I wish the UI on the top corner, up the up the top here, for this, the uh, radar uh, terrain and what have you, would just be a little bit smaller. There goes a torpedo. Would you look at that? It's like having um, an advanced ATGM. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, and gotcha! Done. Oh dear, I seem to have hit something. Right, so I can just sit here at the edge of the map and just launch a torpedo across the map. Um, and we're going to fire a torpedo. Okay, there has to be a submarine around here somewhere. Where are they? There they are. Okay, here we go. He's deployed, he's deployed a boy, but that's not going to get me anywhere. All right. Boom! Target destroyed. And that is my second kill. It's like firing an advanced ATGM. It's quite easy and it's quite quick to do at that as well. It's an interesting game mode. I'll give it that. It wasn't what I was expecting, especially for April Fools. Um, I was mainly expecting tier 6 jets. And the reason why that was is because that's what everybody was hoping for. Because in, in theory, well, Gaussian have been known to do events... Um, that were, that were fun in the past. For example, example the uh, flying ponies or the giant Gargilla snail, uh, for example. A lot of the recent events, particularly starting with the uh, April Fools for the medieval ships, became test beds. And while I'm fine with this event as a whole, it seems to be the same old, same old. I spawn, sail for a few minutes, looking at the blue, more blue. Oh, look over there, there is more blue. Spot a submarine. Follow your torpedo that you've just launched around the map. Kill uh, a submarine. Then get killed by another submarine. Respawn it, and it's the same stuff all over again. I'm going to say this once. The whole point of submarine combat is to never get spotted. To lurk, to hide. And if you like the art of point and click and move a aircraft that is underwater, then you may like this event. But for me, there is complications when it comes to why are they adding submarines? Does this mean that they're adding submarines to World War II? Well, currently we don't have any other bigger ships. Convoys really aren't a thing. Uh, we haven't seen much in terms of naval testing that really proves uh, submarines worth. I understand that Gaussian are trying to get back at some of the other companies like Wargaming for having a submarine in their hangar for last year. 
you know, stuff like that. But they're also having a go at several good games that do submarine-based combat well. That is, Cold Waters and, well, Silent Hunter 3. 